state your first and your last name and spell it out for me, please. My name is Monica Nilsson. It's M O N I C A N I L S S O N. Okay, Monica, tell me a little bit about what's going on here today. Today is Homeless Day on the Hill, which is sponsored by the Minnesota Coalition for the Homeless. There are over 800 advocates here to talk to our legislators about the need for the continuum of care from shelter and street outreach to affordable housing for Minnesotans. Okay. Um, talk a little bit about MFIP and the increase, or what you guys are hoping to get out of the hearings today. The Minnesota Family Investment Program is really unemployment insurance for low-income workers, so people who normally wouldn't get unemployment insurance if they lost their job. People who work in hospitality or who might be a personal care attendant, low-income jobs. And so that income for children and families has not increased since 1986 for 33 years. So 33 years ago, if a parent and a child received $437, they might be able to rent a $300 a month studio. Well, a studio is no longer $300 a month, but MFIP is still $437 for a parent and child. We'd like to see a $200 increase to the MFIP program. Okay. Um, in the hearing today, what, what are, what's going to be the next steps? Beyond MFIP, the other important issue in the short term is the emergency services program. So currently, statewide, there is $844,000 invested in emergency services, and that is wholly inadequate. As many people have seen this year, we have an increasing number of people in the state who are sleeping outside, not only in the urban area, but one third of Minnesota's homelessness is in the suburbs. Another third is in greater rural Minnesota. So while many people may see homelessness in our urban core, we have more homelessness in the suburbs of greater Minnesota than we do just in St. Paul and Minneapolis. We're asking for $15 million for the Biennium in Emergency Services Program. That could help increase shelter, it could help improve shelter and services, so that at some shelters we may not have one staff person for 130 people. Um, do you, I, I mean, I don't know if anyone, if anyone has the answer to this, but what do you think is causing more people to sleep outside or not have a home to go to at night? The main reason that we have homelessness is the difference between people's income and the cost of housing. So as our housing increases, people's income is not increasing proportionately. So as an example, if a studio apartment now is around $850 a month, perhaps even more in the urban core, and people are earning perhaps um, half that, they aren't able to have what landlords are demanding, which is often two and a half or three times the rent um, in income. And so people aren't being accepted. As an example, in January in Minneapolis, there were 12 three-bedroom apartments available in the city of Minneapolis, 12 three-bedroom apartments. So for a family looking for a little bit larger unit, they just don't exist. There were 312 one-bedroom apartments available just in the city of Minneapolis for everyone seeking a one-bedroom apartment. There are over 1,000 people in shelter, just single adults. So basically, to simplify, there are three households looking for every one apartment. So, until we build more apartments and people's income can meet the cost of those apartments, we have so people who are homeless. And until we have more money for shelter, we have people who are unsheltered, who are sitting out in public. And then there's a town under university. Anything else you want to add? No, that's good. Thank you. Thank you.